Hey everyone, Vulgar is here. Today we have a game of Team Deathmatch on Havana. I go 25 and 2. I was pretty satisfied with this game. I did a little bit of camping, but there was really nothing else for me to do. If I rushed, I would have died a lot more. And the only two deaths I got were from rushing. The first one's right here. And then I look at my radar and I realize that everyone's all the enemies are in the middle. So I decided to camp in this building right here. This building overlooks the middle of the map. And I would definitely recommend you use this building if you're thinking about holding down a building in free-for-all or whatever. Definitely use this building. There's, I think, like three windows that you can look out of, and you could step on top of this little thing right here. I'll show you. If you jump across here, you can stay here. Gives you a little bit of cover, but if anyone has hardened, you got to watch out for that, because someone can easily kill you. It's just something that, you know, just something to have. Uh, but what I was about to say is this is a pretty easy building to hold down. It gives you a lot of access to enemies, but doesn't give the enemies a lot of access to you. As you see, you know, an enemy can't just jump onto the balcony. They have to actually come up the stairs, and there's only two entrances, and if you, you know, either have two claymores, which I think you can have. I'm not sure. I haven't used scavenger yet. But you either use two claymores, or you can just put one right in front of the door, and there's basically no way for you to, uh, there's basically a flawless plan. And that's basically what I do this game. So, uh, right here I get my napalm strike. If you notice where I'm calling this in, I call it in, I think, like, in the middle of the map, because I noticed none of my teammates are there. And I probably would have called it in right in their spawn, considering their spawn stays the same the whole entire game, and it's right over here where I keep killing them. It's basically, their spawn stays the same the whole entire game. And that's probably where I would have called it in, except for the fact that I'm playing hardcore. And, as you know, hardcore, you can kill your teammates, whether it's an accident or not. And that's what I do. Or, that's not what I do. I didn't want to do that, because I didn't want to end my kill streak. So instead, I decided to call it in, and I... I don't think I got anyone with my Napalm Strike. So anyway, enough about Napalm Strike. You just basically want to inform your teammates of when you're calling something in, even if you're not playing hardcore. That way they yeah, that way they know. If you have something like a Chopper Gunner, it, it really plays a huge role defense, this, defensing, I guess, defending, because it gives your teammates the ability to capture flags and do things that they normally it would be kind of hard to do. Also, if you have a Chopper Gunner, it basically it spawns tra it spawn traps them. And as you notice, especially in this map, the spawns are... A lot better than they were in Mauer for two. They actually spawn in uh, a multiple multiple number of places. It's still no match for the chopper gunner, but I have to give them credit. I mean, they did a pretty good job as far as the spawns go, at least for this map, you know. So I'm using the FAL, and it's pretty much a one shot or one hit kill, which isn't bad, you know, especially if you're playing hardcore. If you're not playing hardcore, it's usually a two hit kill, sometimes three, depending on where you hit them. And right now I'm looking for a place to call my chopper, and I decide to rush the enemy, because I had nothing else better to do. And that's when I die, so... That just shows you that you gotta... You gotta basically assess your enemy, and if they're... They rush a lot, you chances are you don't want to rush, and if they don't rush, then chances are you want to rush. You want to counteract everything that they have to do. And uh, in the, in the split-second situations that you have, you want to be able to realize what you're capable of doing. And right here I call my chopper gunner, and I get... A decent amount of kills. Actually, I got... If you guys ever played that map, Crisis, you get a lot of kills with the Chopper Gunner on that. This map has a lot of buildings, but I end up I end up holding a pretty good score. Like I said, 25-2. and two, And the gameplay is almost over, so... I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching this commentary. Thanks for subscribing. And... Hope you enjoyed it. Alright, see you guys.